Jocelyn. Everyone understands that true power is something we all strive for in life. This video is here to help you improve your life and defy true power. So, we hope you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to our channel. And so, there's four states of consciousness. There's wakefulness, there's sleep, there's dreaming, and then there's a transcendental moment. And when you've had enough of everything in this 3D world and nothing new is happening, you start wondering if there's something else. And so for me, uh, you have a few mystical moments when you're a kid or in your early uh, part of your life, and you start chasing that experience. And so for me, I wanted to understand if there was a bridge between that world where there are infinite number of dimensions uh, and this three-dimensional world that we live in. So my, my interest uh, in uh, explaining this mystical science of the pineal gland is really thinking of the pineal gland as the brain's radio receiver. And it can only be activated through a certain process. And we have the most beautiful brain scans to show that we're seeing a trend. That when a person begins to take their attention off of everything material, three-dimensional reality, a narrow focus on matter, a divergent focus, and they begin to broaden their focus, begin to open their focus, and create what's called a, a uh, divergent focus. When they do that properly, the act of opening their awareness and putting their attention on nothing begins to suppress this thinking brain and slow brain waves down into alpha, but not just any kind of alpha, very organized, coherent alpha. And now we're seeing the beauty of when they really can just allow their body to rest and almost fall asleep and keep their mind awake. There's this door, there's this opening. And when they silence the activity in the neocortex, they get beyond their analytical mind, their thinking brain, that memory bank of the known self. And if you're in theta, there's very little brain activity there. So you're aware, you're kind of conscious in your subconscious mind. Now we start to see very profound patterns where theta levels, and even delta now, become the primary uh, frequency in the brain. And not just a little theta, not just a lot of theta, like a lot, a lot of theta. And when you see that, way outside of normal, we now know what's about to happen. We now know in the next instant there's going to be an arousal. And now the sympathetic nervous system switches on when you feel pain, when you feel fear, and when you feel anger or aggression. And it's mostly survival stuff. But when this latent system switches on, and the sympathetic nervous system switches on, the arousal that's created is energy moving from the body right up into the brain. And when that gate at the brainstem called the thalamic gate opens up, and that energy rushes all the way up into the pineal gland. The amount of coherent gamma in the brain in that moment is a sign the person's having a very subjective experience that we're measuring objectively. They're having a full-on sensory experience without their senses. And whatever's going on between their ears, the vision that they're having, they're not visualizing. It's happening to them. In other words, We've proven that that's possible. Now think about this. So your body is believing it's living in that future reality no. in the present moment. Now think about this. The stronger the emotion you feel from some condition in your life, the more altered you feel inside of you, the more you narrow your focus on cause and the brain freezes an image and takes a snapshot. And that memory now is embossed in the brain. It's branded in there. So then people think neurologically within the circuits of those past experiences and they feel chemically within the boundaries of those emotions. And the stronger the betrayal, the stronger the trauma, the more the body's living in the past, right? right. So then, so how do you reverse that? So now, if you truly got passionate about a future, we've all done this. You get a wild idea in your mind and uh -huh. you start holding on to that vision and you're preoccupied with it all of a sudden the thought in your mind becomes the experience and you start feeling the, the energy of the future. Yeah. Now, the stronger the emotion you feel from that vision, the more you're going to pay attention to the picture in your mind and now you're remembering your future.
to a frequency, the pineal gland acts as a transducer. And a transducer is no different than a TV antenna that takes one form of energy frequency and turns it into or transduces it into imagery. And the pineal gland begins to release upgraded versions of melatonin. Melatonin already causes us to dream, but now whew, you're going to really dream. It already causes us to relax, but now you're going to make a benzodiazepine. You are going to chill way out. <laughs> you are no longer going to be in survival. The, the melatonin is already an antioxidant, but you're going to make two of the most powerful antioxidants known to man. Anti-cancer, anti-aging, anti-heart disease, anti-stroke, anti-neurodegenerative, anti-inflammatory, anti-microbial. Two molecules release the same chemical in the brain that hibernating animals produce. No sex drive, no appetite, no preoccupation with the outer environment. That means you move out of survival, the body goes into stasis. You can, you can, the body can dream for as long as you want. The nervous system is going to become electrically activated. The amplitudes of energy are going to go up in the brain. There's going to be a profound firing. And then you make that one ma amazing chemical called dimethyltryptamine. And that begins to switch on. And what happens is you no longer move through space to experience time. You move through times and you experience dimensions or spaces. And the biggest lie that we've ever been told is that we're linear beings living a linear life. <laughs> we are dimensional beings living a dimensional life. And when the doors of dimension open to you and you get a glimpse of how big this really is, you are going to care less about politics. You're going to care less about who's famous and who isn't because you're going to realize you're all of that and more. And all of a sudden now, uh, we have people that have switched this system, this latent system on, and they have a greater understanding of who they really are. And it, it all of a sudden shows that there is no past life. They're all happening now. I don't know how else to say that. And, and when we activate this latent system, the information that's being translated into profound imagery, that experience, that rich experience, experience enriches the brain. Now you're laying down circuits for something that has nothing to do with the material world, and that experience produces an emotion, but the emotion is not going to be guilt or shame or unworthiness, fear. The emotion is going to be ecstasy or bliss. And the stronger the emotion you feel, the more you're going to be paying attention to those pictures in your mind. And literally, you're going to begin to rewire your brain for the mystical. And when you open your eyes and you come back to your senses, you're going to see a broader spectrum of reality. You're going to begin to see what has always existed, but you didn't have the circuits in place to experience them. Because we don't see things how they are. We see things how we are. Did our video satisfy your soul in some way? Thank you a million times over for your help. We appreciate it more than you can imagine. Don't forget to leave us a comment and hit the subscribe.